Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Felix and um, today I bring you news from Lazenberg and uh, this news is all about how um, the fallacies regards to Lazenberg and how people are making videos and uh, telling people to apply for jobs without telling them what they need to do first, what they need to know first about Lazenberg before embarking on this trip. Now the first thing is that Lazenberg is part of Schengen, one of the Schengen states. That is, with uh, you getting their visa, you can enter into any of the Schengen territories like Germany, Finland, Netherlands, and or Belgium, and all the other um, Schengen states. But if you are going on a working visa, of which a lot of people are making videos about going there with a working visa, you need to go to their official or their embassy, not a consulate or let's say their representative. So for instance, um, Lazenberg doesn't have an embassy in Ghana, Kenya or Nigeria. So in that sense, you need to go to their nearest embassy of which it can be either in um, Cape Verde, Burkina Faso, Senegal. They have five embassies in Africa. These are the places that you can go and do your visa submission to get your card to go to Lazenberg to work based on the offer that you will get. And don't forget that most Shijin states, the official language is in English, of which I'm talking about Nigeria where we speak English, Ghana where we speak English and Kenya too is English. So in getting job, these things are taken into consideration. That is language barrier. So you should also know this before applying. You should be because there was a time that Belgium were looking for a lot of people um, to come and work in their country. But English speaking countries were exempted because of language barrier, because you are going to communicate with the masses. So a lot of people are making arguments or videos about Lazenberg, 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 without telling the facts about that country. That country is the best when it comes to um, workers uh, salaries and standard of living and everything they are the best but you should know what you are going in for you apply know you apply but how to get it don't fall prey to anybody's uh, means of getting money from the masses make sure you do your own research read and get your facts right make sure you know what you are going to do where you are going to do verify information from let's say if someone is doing from you the person that or the institution that is giving you the sponsorship that you are going to use it to apply for the visa you have to go and do your biometrics and those kind of things fill your forms and everything before you get your visa to travel make sure all these things are followed before you travel don't fall prey as it happened to canada people say you can use the lmia direct get your job and travel without you uh, passing through the express entry and people will get stuck in the middle of the process and some people will have even applied with fake documents and those kind of things don't fall prey to same apply uh, uh, happened with uk where a lot of people were making noise on social media especially on tiktok let us be guided as it happened to canada uk and others let's be guided when we are dealing with anything immigration because i know my people you will just troop into it. We just troop into any information that we hear on social media without verifying it ourselves. So Lazenberg is one of the best nations that you can go. But as an English speaking destination or country, just check. Just also check where you go and do your submission and those kind of things before you start anything. Before you start anything. Don't forget this is Felix. This is my blog. You can follow me on all my socials. And if you need anything immigration, just don't forget to contact or email us for any assistance. Thank you.